So I wanted to show everyone how you can use beautiful pieces of driftwood to mount your staghorn ferns. It's basically the same procedure as when you mount them to wood. I first start with wood screws in the back. These are a lot less expensive than buying hangers and they actually will hold up a lot longer because if you buy them long enough, you can drill them in much deeper. Usually I do them at a downward angle, but the shape of this drip would prohibited that. So I just used very thick wire and wired it on generously. So first you always put your hanger on the piece of driftwood. This piece was really unique. It had this deep hollow in it and the hollow was also in the top. So I filled the hollow with my moss and then attached the staghorn to the front. There are small screws, which you can't see. You don't really want to see those. And then you use your filament wire or some type of uh, string to, you know, mount your staghorn onto the actual piece of driftwood. But it actually, the you know, the, the staghorns look so sculptural already. And this kind of just really complements that because although they're beautiful on their mounts, it kind of does look artificial. So if you compare something like this beautiful mount, which was a, a piece of driftwood I found down at the river, compared to this boxy piece of wood, what is your preference? Some people do like a more clean finished look. I think that the natural element of the driftwood really accentuates the natural sculpt sculptural elements of the staghorn ferns. Here's a little piece of driftwood or actually wood I found in the forest the other day and I mean doesn't that look great just simple and clean and again same process get your uh, screws in the back and get your hanging wire on and then follow the same type of procedure that you would do to mount anything and they seem very happy on here too so that's it simple and unique and free and it's a nice excuse to go take a walk in the woods or at the beach. Take care.